Life on Other Worlds. Scientists have recently discovered a new technique that may indeed prove that life exists on the planet Mars. As the recent series of fascinating images of Mars from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, have shown over the past two years, Mars in its ancient past had a thicker atmosphere, significant weather, and most likely running water in the forms of rivers, lakes, and even a vast ocean. Today, water and frozen carbon dioxide is trapped in the polar ice caps and deep in the permafrost of this cold and seemingly barren planet, which only has a tenuous atmosphere. Since signs of life on Mars may be hiding under its rocks or even inside those rocks, NASA researchers have recently devised a new simplified technique to detect biological and prebiotic molecules trapped inside minerals in its search for Martian microbes. Studying samples of the mineral gerosite from Earth, researchers identified amino acids, the basic components of proteins incorporated into the mineral's crystal structure. Nancy Hinman of the University of Montana and her colleagues believe this new technique is perfect for looking at Martian samples brought back from a future mission. Gerosite is a yellowish-brown sulfate material containing iron, potassium, and hydroxide found in places around the world such as Southern California beaches and volcanic fields in New Zealand. It forms only in the presence of highly acidic water. In 2004, Gerosite was discovered on Mars by Opportunity, one of NASA's Mars Exploration Rovers. Scientists immediately connected it to past water on the Red Planet. Interestingly, one of the primary steps in the formation of gerosite involves combining pyrite, ferrous sulfide, with oxygen. This oxidation reaction is often performed here on Earth by certain rock-eating microorganisms. Whether gerosite can form without the assistance of these microbes is very difficult to say, since every place on Earth is overrun with them. The rate of gerosite formation would be extremely slow without microbes in the presence of water, Hinman said. But there are theories for how gerosite might form in the absence of life. It is a very oxidizing environment on Mars, noted Michelle Kotler, also from the University of Montana, and gerosite could therefore have arisen simply from chemical weathering of the planet's abundant basalt rocks. So once again, there remains the tantalizing possibility that the Martian environment may host life forms, past or even present, if Martian gerosite owes its existence to the Martian version of rock-eating microbes. If remnants of these organisms are found locked in the mineral of a sample brought back to Earth or on the surface of Mars, would they still be alive? Carlton Allen, astro-materials curator at NASA's Johnson Space Center, remarked, This new study shows that a molecule basic to life can be detected in an important Martian mineral using an instrument that might fly on a future spacecraft. The technique can also measure the isotope ratios of carbon and other elements that could potentially tell researchers whether the organic molecules they find came from living things or not. Dry and windy, reminiscent of the Arizona desert, Mars has been visited over the past several years by a series of robotic orbiters and landers, including Global Surveyor, Pathfinder, Spirit and Opportunity, and most recently MRO and Phoenix. In their search for signs of water, weather, and life, NASA may face one of its most significant challenges. If definitive signs of life are found, plans to send humans to Mars could be endangered or challenged. The question of how to handle life if found in another world is considerable. Would we contaminate it, or does it contaminate us? What if it was brought back to Earth? Decades of science fiction stories and movies bring the possible negative implications of alien life to mind. We here on Earth habitually endanger living species, many of whom we don't even know exist on a daily basis. With clear cutting of forests, urban sprawl, and pollution of the air, waters, and oceans of the world, we wipe out dozens of life forms each year. How would we handle alien life if found in another world? In the 1990s, NASA announced possible evidence of fossilized bacteria found in a meteorite from Mars. To date, the controversy over whether or not the fossils are actually remnants of life forms continues. These and many other questions await us as we venture further out into the solar system. 
Moons of Jupiter and Saturn are suspected to have water, and the upcoming Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter will be searching for signs of water on the Moon, not because NASA thinks there is any chance of life on the hostile environment of the Moon, but to support future human colonies living on the Moon and traveling to other worlds. We will be bringing our own microbes along with us, and contamination is a big concern for scientists and engineers alike. When a camera from the robotic lunar mission Surveyor 3 was returned from the moon by the Apollo 12 crew in 1969, nearly 100 Streptococcus bacteria organisms, which had inadvertently survived the clean room environment of its construction, the rocket launch, the space vacuum, and three years of radiation exposure, deep freeze at an average temperature of only 20 degrees above absolute zero, and no nutrient water or energy sources were found to still be alive. Whether we find life on another world is still the stuff of speculation, but with better techniques, tools, and more frequent missions, life is bound to reach out from our planet to others and most likely survive. This is Rita Carl, Director of Education at Challenger Center for Space Science Education, signing off. <laughs>